ESX equipment defect detector. It's an odd thing to hear while listening to railroad radio traffic, a robotic voice transmitting to a passing train. But these unusual devices serve a very important function. As its automated broadcast says, this is called a defect detector. The one here is located in Tucker, Georgia, and this train is about to pass over it. So let's take a look at the different pieces of hardware in use here. First are these hotbox or hot bearing detectors. So-called hotboxes referred to overheated journal boxes used on older rolling stock with plain bearings. They contained oil-soaked cotton or rags that could catch a car on fire if the oil leaked or dried out. Modern equipment uses roller bearings, and these infrared eyes are on each side of the track. Now, there's another reader here that's not part of the defect detector. This piece of hardware uses a radio signal to read the automatic equipment identification tags on freight cars. These tags help the railroad and its customers track shipments. As the end of this train passes over this spot, you can also see these metal flaps or cones sticking up on either side of the rails. They detect dragging equipment. If something hits them, a circuit is broken and the automated voice will broadcast it over the radio. This one is sprung and returns to its upright position if it's hit. There's also an axle counter here. It does just what its name suggests, and it can help the crew find where the problem is on their train. I believe this works by generating a magnetic field that the wheel flange interrupts. Fortunately, there was nothing wrong with this train, but the robotic transmission was not what I was expecting. No defects. Axle count malfunction. Total axle two, six, niner, end of transmission. Sounds like it finally got the axle count at the end. Here's one more train passing over this detector in the opposite direction. CSX equipment defect detector. Milepost 564.0. No defects. No defects. Total axle 578. End of transmission. No defects and no malfunctions on that one. Believe it or not, automatic defect detectors have been around since the mid-20th century. But the Seaboard Airline was the first to use equipment that verbally transmitted its results over the radio. Oh, and by the way, this right-of-way is ex-Seaboard Airline. Of course, this was just one of several advancements that spelled the end for the caboose and the vigilant crewmen who sat inside and watched over the train. Defect detectors aren't flashy and are fairly nondescript, but they're just one of the many tools the railroad uses to get the job done.